So this video is going to go over the uh, pelvic landmarks and so we're going to start from an anterior view. Um, from the anterior view the landmarks that we want to note of course are the uh, umbilicus. We also want to palpate the anterior superior iliac spine which is the uh, anterior prominence of the iliac crest, the anterior most portion of the iliac crest. So anterior superior iliac spine. Uh, we also want to identify the uh, pubic symphysis. So if we place a hand and walk our way down, we can feel where the two pubic bones come together. That space in between is the pubic symphysis. Just on the top of either pubic bone here is the pubic tubercle. This is the landmark we're going to palpate when we assess uh, pubic symphysis heights. Uh, the space between the pubic uh, symphysis and the ASIS, this is the inguinal crease right here that runs uh, this distance right here. Okay. From a posterior view, we can palpate the iliac crest as it makes its way around from the front. And if we follow that back, the posterior most portion of the iliac crest is the posterior superior iliac spine, or PSIS. Just between them and above is where the L5 transverse process is going to reside. And just below that is the top of the sacrum or the sacral base, which we can palpate. If we look at the portion of the sacral base that's hiding just uh, medial to the PSIS, uh, this vertical uh, space right here that is known as the sacral sulcus and is an important uh, sacral landmark. As we move our way inferior, if we walk our way down from the, uh, from the PSIS and a little slightly medial, you can find the uh, inferior lateral angle of the sacrum, which is uh, right here, the lowest, most lateral portion of the sacrum. It's roughly in line with the sacral hiatus, which you can palpate the two bumps right in the center uh, of the sacrum. This is where the um, the phylum terminale is going to make its way out and down to the coccyx. If we look uh, underneath the gluteal crest here, we can feel the ischial tuberosities. These are the two uh, bones that we uh, sit on. And so between the ILA and the ischial tuberosity is where the sacro tuberous ligament is going to run. That's an important structure that we're going to talk about when we look at the sacrum.